What the? What the oh my God! Can you guys fucking stop? Can't get you out of my. What's going on everybody, Dragast here, and welcome back to some more Shopkeep. So this game has been updated quite drastically as of late, at least I've been told that by you guys. So I thought we would check it out again and see what Shopkeep has to offer now. Now, we do still have my shop save, but I'm actually going to delete this save and start Season 2. I know a lot of you are going to hate that, but I feel like, you know, we got so far into the game, experiencing this new content wouldn't be very fun if we have all the money and all the things to do so. So let's delete that save, start out a new season, because this is kind of a new game. I mean, there's a lot to be added from what I've heard anyways. So, uh, why did it not let me delete delete it? Can I not? Oh, there we go. Now it's deleting it. 4,000%. What the fuck's going on here? Oh, okay, so now we are back into the game. Oh my god, I thought that was outside. I was like, is this a new graphic change or something? But no, we got some more stuff in the back now. What the hell? There's a lot of stuff we can unlock here. There... Is that a witch's broom? I am really intrigued right now. Where's our little machine that gets rid of everything? I... I'm really impressed right now. Now, I don't know if we can go outside yet. No. Oh my god, it's so small again. It's bringing me back to the starting of it. But as you can see, we're actually in a village now. We're not just on a mountain with a random shop there. So, I guess let's uh, buy some stuff. We only got $60, so we're going to start out uh, fresh again. Look at this! A nice little festive statue as well. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, like, new thing overload here. What the fuck are you? This is, this is a broom? Okay, I have a brand new broom, clearly. Are you sure this is a broom? Okay, and judging by this store, we actually need to unlock things now because this is all we have. There's also, it looks like, a sorting thing, which is something that this drastically needed. Uh, anyways, health potions are also 10 gold now. We got frost resist potions as well. That's new. Well, we only got 60 gold, so I'm assuming... All I can really buy right now. Let's buy three health potions. We also got to place down a few places to uh, put those potions. So let's go do that while we're waiting. Pedestals cost... Oh, that's only four gold still. Okay, so we're just going to put the pedestals over by the wall over here. We'll do three for right now. Again, it's a very depressing shop at the start of this game. Because you don't have anything besides, you know, a couple potions. Uh, let's see how long it takes. It takes a lot longer for things to come in now, it seems. Maybe it's because I'm a low level again. Oh, there it is. Orders ready in the back room, and we can open it up. Now, what the hell is this thing? Sort through your personal chest. Oh my god, that's so useful. We can actually get rid of items now that are not on held on to us. That makes uh, sorting everything a hell of a lot easier. Anyways, we want to... We bought for 10 gold. We want to sell this for... Uh, let's do... Again, it seems like 200% was, uh, perfect last time, so we're gonna do that again. Alright, right about there. So, sell it for 20, buy it for 10. That seems, uh, pretty fair to me, uh, as a seller. So, let's open up the store. How do I open it up now? Press E while by the door to open the shop. Perfect! Day one! Now, look at that! Come in my shop, everybody! Can I... Can I, can I wander out? Yes, I can. Oh my god. So, I, I can do offerings again. I don't think we ever really figured out what that was. But now we're actually in some sort of town that I can walk around in. Now, I, I I would love this game if they actually, you know, build this to the point where you can go to different shops and, like, buy and sell from other people's shops as well. It's looking like that might be where they're going, I'm hoping anyways, but it's definitely nice that we're at least in a town now, not on a random mountainside. Oh, and I just realized at the top, I am, in fact, still level 26. Now, no one's come into my store yet, so I don't know if they changed how quickly it is to level up in this game. What, what's this guy saying over here? He said something. What do you want to know, Dick Jackman? Dick Jackman, are you kidding me? Best name ever for an NPC. Nothing, apparently. Okay, he wants nothing again. But he was talking, so I don't know what he said. Can I open these presents? That would be great. And why is there a ghost present here? I actually can't walk through this one yet. I can walk through these ones. Interesting. I don't know what's going on with this, but I'm intrigued. I think there's a secret here. Anyways, have we sold anything yet? I just... <laughs> Nobody's coming to my- uh, am I supposed to wait in here for them or something? I'm just gonna stand here and then wait. Oh my god, is this guy actually coming into my store? It's been like five minutes and no one's come in. Red Nose the Warrior! What? Oh, come on! You are so rude! I don't know why people have to throw potions around. That is mighty rude. Let's see how this thing works. Oh. Okay. I don't know what was wrong with the other broom. Now we got some fucking sci-fi thing here that randomly cleans the floor. 
Anyways, maybe we should drop these potions down. I'm gonna wait a little longer here, see what the next customer says about my potion pricing. If they're complaining again, that was a huge snowflake, by the way. But yeah, if they're complaining again, then uh, we will probably drop the prices. I don't know if I like moving into a town. It seems like I have a lot more competition now. Nobody's interested in my wonderful three potions here. Please, guys, come over. I, you, you, sir, you, you look like you need a potion. Louis a Aetherthun, the warrior. Nope, you're just gonna walk right on by? Well, fuck you too, buddy. Come on, you bastard. I love your mustache, by the way, Moby Lane. Okay, so clearly I'm thinking my pricing is totally off right now. They probably changed the game uh, to make sure we don't profit too much too early. That way the game doesn't go too quickly. So I'm going to drop it to 140%. That is some pretty competitive pricing, I got to assume. My 40% profit margin is not that much. Look at this guy coming in already. Is he going to buy it? Are you going to do it? There you go. Good day. All right, perfect. Hello, good sir. We got one potion left. You seem not too interested. This guy's fucking moonwalking here. You gonna buy it? Nope. <laughs> I love how they just come in and walk back out right away. Where are you going, good sir? 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 You can't go back there. Employees only. This guy does not give a fuck. Where, what are you doing? What, what, what was the point of that? Did you just want to fucking put mud everywhere? Are you that much of an asshole? Okay, well, at least he bought the potion, so I guess I really shouldn't complain with him. Anyways, we should have, yes, we do have a purchase back here. I gotta grab this thing. Perfect. Now, we do have one frost resist potion. Hopefully, we can sell this thing as well. Uh, I gotta order, obviously, some more health potions now as well, since I do have enough money. Good sir, I have a frost resist potion. Don't, 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 don't break. Okay. Good thing these things don't break. They're, they're, they're made of really good glass, I guess. Man, people in Shopkeep are much more picky now. I just stuck it to 200% in the past, and people were totally fine. Now people are complaining about 140%. Jesus. Guys, seriously, we have nothing left in here. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for stock. Why are you going over there? Okay, get the fuck out. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I just put them down, and we got another sale. So clearly 140% uh, seems to be the sweet spot for quick sales, which is what I want to do. Again, I want to be the Walmart of the medieval times. That's what Shopkeep is all about. I'm really curious about this wall, though. I'm assuming this is unlocked. So we got different brooms that I unlocked, different weapons, and uh, different caskets and whatnot, which you can purchase via the front menu screen. Okay, but we got 54 gold here. What do we want to buy? I'm thinking armor boots are going to be a popular purchase. So let's buy those. Looks like we sold another one as well. So shit, now I don't think we can put in two orders, can we? No, we can't. So we got to wait now. Yes, we sold our boots as well. God, we are selling everything now. Uh, maybe 140% is a little too less of a profit because I am selling things quicker than I can actually purchase them. So yeah, I think next time we are going to up this price a bit. Let's see, we're already selling it. And I'm just starting to buy some more. So let's buy, uh, we got, what, 84 gold? Let's actually, well, we almost have enough for that sword. I think we'll just wait for that. Let's buy um, some leather gloves, why don't we? And a frost resist potion. Perfect. No, 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 no. Oh, you fucking union. You are not going to get away with that, you freaking bastard. All right, we're going to steal this if we can. Oh, you can actually steal your uh, items out of the store now, so you can chase criminals. That's way more convenient. Now, there's no bone grinder in the back now, is there? So what do I do with these bones? Can I offer them on this thing, maybe? It seems like I can no longer pick up the skeleton as well. Maybe they change this or change the button or something, but I can no longer pick it up. So uh, I guess we're just going to have to clean it up for this one. Maybe, I don't know why they would get rid of the bone idea. I really did like that idea. I hope they didn't. Maybe I have to unlock it or something. Anyways, we got our gloves, and it looks like I think we got, yeah, one frost resist potion as well. Actually, you know what? We are going to pick up everything. We're going to up it to 150% because I feel like uh, we can definitely use that little bit more of the profit margin. So there we go. There we go. And there we go. Now they got choices of three different items. That means more potential customers. Okay, look at that. We sold almost everything once again. Uh, we got one more potion here. Well, we got one more Frost Resist Potion and one more Health Potion. I'm hoping we can sell it all. We got 46 seconds left in the f day one. If I can sell everything, I'd be really happy. Hurry up, good sir. You only got 13 seconds to buy something. Dima Butthead the Warrior. Yes, good day. Okay, we, we pretty much sold everything. One Health Potion, no big deal. Wait, is he coming in? You only got three seconds. Run, please run. Oh, shit. Oh, God, he's leaving now. Okay, goodbye.
Okay, shop has been saved. So day one, I would say a pretty good success. We have 132 gold and one potion. So a grand total of 142 gold in our name right now. Uh, I don't actually know how I'm supposed to unlock things, so I'm really curious to figure out that because we only have these uh, very few amount of items. So maybe it's in skills or something like that. Oh, yes, look at this. So we do have a bunch of points to spend now. You can unlock Tier 1 Warrior items, send out a color to the Mage Tower and get some mages around the shop. Uh, so, yeah, we don't even get any mages right now. Send out a Rogue and Druids as well. So I am going to unlock Tier Warrior items. I Yes, I would like to unlock that. That actually cost me 120k. Are you serious? Uh, but hopefully we get some more items now. Let's see in here. It doesn't look like it. Maybe I have to reset. I'm really confused right now. Okay, yeah, we just had to reset it. So there we go. Look at this. We got a frost axe. We got some new items in here. Uh, definitely interesting. Maybe we did that a little too early because these items are too expensive for our taste right now. So yeah, this game seems to have a lot more unlocks now. You can see uh, the, even the shelf has not been unlocked yet. I don't know how I'm supposed to unlock that. Hat rack has not been unlocked. None of this has been unlocked yet. So a lot of the warrior items I'm not even going to be able to sell. Looks like all I have is tables and pedestals. So you know what? It's going to be a slower season in this episode of Shopkeep. But that's totally okay. I, I like the idea of having a slow game where profits are much more difficult. We should actually look at the quest as well and see which quests can actually... Uh, help us here, so let's go, um, oh shit, it's not even in here anymore. Oh, it is in here, I didn't even notice, it's down here. So we got Rare Wish, uh, out of mana, we don't even have mana potions yet. Prepare for winter, this one we can actually do, so we're going to take that quest, and I think you can only hold one quest at a time, so we need to sell 10 Frost Resist potions, that shouldn't be too hard. And again, because they're so cheap, we're going to buy, actually we're going to buy one Wooden Shield, we'll buy a couple Health Potions, and a couple Frost Resist Potions. That's going to cost us 120, god damn it. Alright, I keep forgetting we have like no money at all, so 97, uh, maybe we should get rid of uh, two of these Health Potions, there we go. So we don't, we don't have enough money for really anything right now. Okay, and the order is in. So we got a wooden shield here so sold for 63. That would be really nice to sell. Uh, I didn't even know you can't put potions on those things. It's been a while since I've uh, played Shopkeep, so I for keep forgetting where you can put everything. But yes, that is all our inventory right now. About 150 gold worth of inventory. Let's open up for day number two. Okay, the morning seemed definitely oh, slow. Goodness. and Oh, you fucking... Wait, you, you ran and then you walked. Okay, I thought he stole it. But clearly he didn't. You know what? I don't trust you. you. You you did a little run there, so I'm gonna kill you anyways. Oh, I didn't get the potion. I thought I got the potion. Never mind, I just killed an innocent human being. I'm sorry. Okay, so I still haven't figured out how to pick up these skeletons. I'm just going to keep this guy over here in case we do actually need them. I find it really weird they actually deleted a lot of the features of this game. Unless I need to unlock them, like I said. Maybe I should look more into the skills list here and figure out what's going on. Unlock a mystical portal that hastens delivery time. Um, make your portals stronger, getting even faster delivery times. No, that's actually not too convenient. Oh, there we go. Make thieves steal less. So we got a bunch of different categories now. I get it. Okay, now this is making more sense. We got a, a lot of unlocks back here, things that we've seen before, but we also got new things like vinyl players. There's also, um, uh, like a popularity thing back here. Uh, there might be even more things here. Yeah, we got the cauldron here, so this makes a lot more sense now. A lot of new stuff here. Interesting. And there's the ability to pick up and move bodies. So you know what? We're just going to have a dead body rack over here until I can actually pick them up. Uh, let's see how we're doing. We still got one more item here. I should probably be focusing on this and ordering more items. Okay, and we did in fact sell that final item, so let's buy, well, I would love to buy something like a Frost Axe, but unfortunately I have no place to put it, so studded gloves, shit, we're only three gold away. Let's just go simple, we're gonna go leather gloves, and health potions, and then one Frost Potion, is that enough? Yeah, we have more than enough, let's actually buy two Frost Potions. There we go, that's a decently sized order. What the oh my god, can you guys fucking stop? You're so pissing me off because I cannot grab the potions that fall behind these damn things. Or at least they're very hard to grab as you can see. Uh, please let me get these potions. I need this money. Earning money is so much slower in this game now. Alright, let's clean my store here. Those potions are not going to go anywhere at least. Okay, please. 
Please let me just grab the- Oh my god, I can't- I Seriously, they're, they're stuck back there. I'm gonna have to delete these things to probably grab them. I think we got another order in the back. I hope I bought some more. I don't even remember what I ordered. Oh yeah, leather gloves, and I think that's it. Great. What the f I swear to god- Oh my god, there's another one back here now. I can't get this one- I gotta lose all my profits because I cannot grab the fucking things people keep throwing on the ground. What- what's the big issue? It's 150%. I'm only getting 50% profit. That's nothing. Okay, well we did finally sell something. Thank you, good sir. Now I just have the problem- Oh, I saw- I saw it! I- I could have done it for a second there. Oh my god, I've been- I've been sitting here for like minutes, guys, trying to do this. So, I learned something very useful today. Don't put these tables beside the walls because if people throw your items, they get stuck back here and they're a pain in the ass to pick up again. I think we're gonna move these to the middle of the uh, store after uh, today because it's just so much easier. Okay, shop has been saved, thank god. Now I can actually delete these fucking things. That drove me seriously nuts. Okay, can I please tell me I can grab these things now? Thank God my inventory is still here. Well, we didn't have a very good second day, but at least I didn't lose any of my inventory. Okay, so we're just gonna put some pedestals right in the middle of the store. I've learned from my mistakes. Don't put them against the wall. Anyways, guys, we're gonna end this one here. I know we didn't do too much today. It's gonna be a slow start in the shopkeeps, but I think it's gonna pick up relatively quickly once we start earning some of those Ks and unlocking some of these new unique features. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for your support. Thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.